You're welcome to another WWE Super Car, ladies and gentlemen. And it is time for the War Games event. Tips and tricks. Uh, don't forget to claim your free packs for the event. It is the Bobby Lashley, your WWE Champion as the event card. First of all, before I get into this video, I want to pro my Stone Cold for you guys. Um, how I got it, you will see next video. Next freaking video. So I'm going to take him out of Royal Rumble. And I'm going to take him out of Wild. No, Royal Rumble. I cannot do it now. Well, <laughs> this is supposed to be <laughs> tips and tricks. But um, <laughs> me doing this is pretty long. Wait, hold on. I'm almost done. Here we go. Let's combine him. I do not have um, whatever you call it. Uh, the, the overrun I tried. Uh, anyways, you'll see in the video on Saturday. It is currently Thursday. I keep thinking it is. Friday, so he's gonna go well in my deck. I'm not gonna pro I'm not gonna F1 him. I mean, uh, let's select all the cards Train him up. Let's use some behemoths for once. No, some swarms. I Got um, I Don't I don't need <sighs> What do I train away? I'm gonna go and turn away some behemoths Why is she not locked? Wow, that's stupid Let me go to the bottom Let's use some supports that I do not need. Let's use these two. Yeah, we'll get into the video, guys. But for uh, one tip I want to tell you guys is uh, do if you do want the heroic, you will need to spend money because I, I don't think you can do it free to play. If not, it really is time consuming. Like, it's really time consuming. This event is not hard, it's just really time consuming. And it's not really. Um, the best. No, I do not want to do that. That would be really stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, it is extremely time consuming. And uh, let me just put this so I can train this one up. Okay, really time consuming. So let's go right into our first uh, game. Let me. This is my deck I'm running with. If you guys want to lower your deck so you can face easier players, it's only based on your top eight. So if you're behemoth, you cannot go for the Bobby Lashley, um, and if uh, you're all rumble, you can go for Bobby Lashley, uh, and yeah, wait, so first you got a timer, you got three rings, what I do usually is find a ring and just put three cards in it, okay, I usually put three cards quickly, and then once that happens, they're gonna place their cards, uh, and I usually wait the last second to put my last card so here I would lose two rings and I would win this one but they usually switch them out so I'm gonna go for this one right here I'm gonna wait till the timer goes down so they cannot switch and boom put them right away and they cannot switch it so that is my trick for the first round so look I lose the first one it's okay I lose the first ring three points this one I'm gonna win easily so now I have one ring and then wow I got over and on that so I got four points and then next ring I'm gonna beat him. Usually, I should. I should beat him. Please, <laughs> I should. Yes, I do. I got over anyway. So now I have two rings. So what I do? There's only two spots here, and I've I have already a card in here. I would fill up my deck now. Now, what do you want to do? Is wait, okay? You want to be patient and see what they do. Cause here, I just need. Actually, you know what? I just need one card. And I have overrun, so I'm going to use him, and I'm going to use all my cards here. So now I could win this one. If they, Even if they put three cards, I would win it, because these two, they already beat him. I have my uh, Heroic Priest, full Heroic. So I'm trying to explain this the best way possible. It's just hard to do it quickly. This one, I win it easily, and this one, I win it easily. So now I will be having all of the rings for me for the last round, and I will be getting max points for uh, that round. So now they can only put one. I have two cards, so that's going to be an easy win. Now, this one I win. They could only put one, and I think I would still have all my cards, or maybe I'll lose my Gargano. No, I don't. So that's six points. That's 19 already. And in the third ring, this is an easy one. I got overrun. Boom. There it is. They have one more spot, and I have one more for myself, and I have two cards in here. You don't have to do anything. You could also use your support. Oh, I can use my toughness support. Make sure you have your uh, some... You can also use this, whatever you call your super move. Don't you can use your revives, but don't don't use now. Look, 19 million. They're gonna switch them around. It's an easy game for this one. Let me just move my screen. So next thing I will tell you, I will show you 
um, I'll tell you, like, l less, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, like, without speeding up, because uh, this was a quick one, so just to make you guys uh, jump into it, um, and uh, get a feeling of how the mode works, so some of you guys are new, um, this one is easy, it's just really time consuming, so now if I had doublers, I would get, um, what, one, one, whatever, I got plus two, and I get 78, that's, that's almost max points, I'm not sure if that's max points for the, for without doublers, so I would get 156, that would be awesome, and then you guys just pick on the board, whatever, uh, should I do it, yeah, I'll do it, I'll pick everything, you do, you cannot pull, um, you can pull doublers, actually, but it's really rare, I've not pulled I think I pulled like twice last event on war games. It's really difficult. All right, let's go into round number two. Uh, you can also reset your matchup. And look, I'm gonna go against a behemoth. That's what happens when you usually lower your deck. So what I want to do is fill up a ring completely with my own. So you want to do it quickly. So I'm gonna put this, this, and this. Now my best cards. You want to also match, uh, if possible. So I had two of them. So I matched the right arrow. So it plays five percent here it's toughness there is a speed match and you can also get this i don't know what this little icon means uh it's, it's here around the bottom but now the, the the brass knuckles so now what you want to do is wait so hopefully they don't put i wait last second boom put it in they cannot switch so normally you see i lose this arena doesn't matter i win this one easily i take control already of two arenas so that's six points to three and what you want to do here it's actually they did not attack this arena, so I could be putting one two cards here and then I'll be missing one here. I could fill up this ring, but they can switch and put two here. This one is saved. This ring is absolutely safe. There's no problems with that one. I'll just wait it out. See if they switch it. Um Let's put this and this. I want to go third ring, and I, I just made it in time. There it is. You want to wait last second, because they won't have enough time to react. That's my tip. That's what I found out last event, and it worked fantastic for me. So I'm going to win two two rings, and the third one, the second round, I'll have control of all of the rings now. And boom. Now I'll get my next deck. This is an easy win. They don't have any cards left. This is an easy win. I get my speed match, which I have all my attributes, and I have two cards, and this one is easy. I'm going to put my full, uh, no, I'm going to put my rock here, and this is also an easy match. Uh, if I wanted this little attribute activated, I would have put my Finn Balor, because it's the airplane, and it adds 5% to all stats, but doesn't matter. See, so this is an easy, easy game mode, but... It's just really time consuming. You can see a game takes a long time. Uh, I've been playing for 8 minutes, maybe, what... Take off three minutes from the beginning, five minutes, and uh, it takes five minutes to play two games, so like two and a half minutes each. How many points will I get? I think here twelve. Yep, twelve. So I get this. Oh, get less seventy six. The first game I did get seventy eight. So I got two games, almost done with this Triple H. Uh, I'm not going for the full heroic. Tell me, guys, if you're going into the full heroic. Uh, what is this loading? Right, we'll do one more game just to triple check with you guys. And uh, hopefully, you guys understand. There we go. I got my last rattle sink, really needed that. Let me go out, use my rattle snake, activate. I need one more. Get this one. Hopefully, I can pull that other that uh, stone cold again. This one for an F1, that'd be awesome. Like an F1. Also, my whoops, I just clicked on OBS. Also, guys, I know it's late in the video, probably not watching till here, but I'll be mentioning it in the next video. Um, if you guys want me to start streaming, uh, I'm not sure when I would start streaming, like maybe two weeks, three weeks, maybe when events start, then uh, the next tier uh, comes out. I'm not too sure. Uh, and also, there was one more thing I wanted to say, I cannot remember. Wow. Oh, anyways, <laughs> let's go into the third game. Um... Make sure you use your ads again on these. So here, I'm going to fill this ring. One, two, three. I put my weakest card because I have the full heroic and I have another Royal Rumble Pro and these cards are not good. So my deck is really good right now because I'm matching up with the same deck here. 
I would wait last second to put him here, and if he switches, it doesn't matter because uh, I'll win the ring or I would beat him. So I would rather this one. Hopefully, they do not switch. One more current to the second one. Boom, wait last second. There it is. That's the best tips and trick I can show you guys. Uh, I haven't seen, and I lose a ring. Okay, what you would do is I would close up and I would restart. I don't know why. I don't know how I lost that. Damn. I'm not sure. I didn't see what happened there. Maybe they got a uh, an overrun, uh, an ability. You see, I'm not, I'm not perfect at this game, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, things happen. Things absolutely happen. But it would have been a nice way to uh, start off. Uh, right arrow. We're gonna go with um, show one with the. Uh, no, it's okay. There we go. Hopefully, I could win this one. You know what? Um, no, no, it's okay. That Rollins it would be close, but oh, the, he has that toughness. Uh, he has that power. This is a win. He added. Uh, what did he do? No, he just changed his card. So I'm gonna put the rock here. Last second, boom. You see, that's the best trick. You want to wait last second because they won't put their cards till they see your cards. I don't know why. What the issue is, but that's what usually happens. You see, I win that ring. Next one is gonna be a tie, and this one is my ring. So this you don't have to worry about it and now it's it's all about uh, what they do here So you want to wait wait it out wait for the time to go down. Here's the time uh, Because I only have four cards I can only put two and two or I can put three and then one if they only have two cards here Or if they have two cards I can put two and then split two here. So that's why I'm waiting Um. Mm -mm -mm. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here and here and I just got it right in time. You see, last second. Sometimes it can be difficult. It's better on a... F uh, I wouldn't say on a phone because some sometimes when you switch arenas, uh, it's really difficult. Sometimes it slides over the arena and it's really annoying. So I got overrun here, which is neat. This is an easy one. Yep. This one too. Up arrow. No, I don't. This, I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to put my best card in. Uh, let's go with a Charisma. Manager, so boom, there it is, guys. That's the best tip, and and it, I haven't seen anyone on YouTube doing this uh, before. When I came back to Supercard, I was watching videos. I'm like, man, I found out this trick. This is me. I found the the I found a nice trick. I haven't seen anyone do this. Everyone says, uh, don't play three cards first round. Don't play all your cards first round. But this is this is easy for me because uh, I keep getting uh, 65 to 78 points easily. Look, I'm going to get what? 66. So uh, let me check. No, 65, uh, 55. Sorry. So I get 75. There you go. So I got 78, 76, 60, 75. Uh, I'm not going to do another one. I think it's pretty clear what the strategy is. Um, don't buy any revives or uh, tag outs, I think that's what they're called. Buy doublers if you're going for the full hero because it's ring down next week. But uh, I wouldn't recommend you um, doing that because unless unless you don't have a good deck, mine mine is actually decent because it's end of tier and you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to get that full row expend some credits here. And uh, let me just go into my ring, uh, king of the ring, and that's the last thing I'm gonna do for this video. Let's go with my Stone Cold here. My King of the Ring looking nice. Let's go with Switch. No, I'm going to keep this. King of the Ring looking really nice here. The only thing is my tags. I need a better up arrow, better right arrow. My mills and my tag is awesome. So what? I'm going to start this King of the Ring and see what happens. Yeah, I'm saving up my tickets for the WrestleMania 37. Hopefully, I can get to, three, to 300. I make a huge pack opening. I know some people have like what, a thousand because of the glitch, but I joined late to the game and I couldn't get all of them in time. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks. Please leave a like. There will be a video out Saturday. Make sure for to watch that one. Uh, yep, share, subscribe, and tell all your friends, and I'll see you next one. Peace out.